Right, guys, so we are, you join us on our master series, and we are doing some work. Stop my Peter. We are doing some work on distance control and how important it is for not the, just the guys at the Masters, but also for, for everyone watching. Because there's lots of times where you've got to trust your distance, mm -hmm. where there's obstacles, where there's barriers, where there's hazards that you have to try and navigate and really trust in yourself and trust the knowledge of how far you hit each shot. The example we're going to use is the 12th hole at the Masters. Par 3, incredibly narrow green. It's wide, but very, very narrow, certainly in, in some points between mm -hmm. the two bunkers. It's 155 yards, which isn't a long hole for a par 3 at all, certainly not for the guys on tour. And there's been some fantastic shots and there has been some disasters. Some horrors, yeah, because it's, it's only 155 yards, but if you throw into account water in front, bunker front, yeah. bunker behind, and the pressure of a back nine, yeah. the masters, it suddenly becomes a little bit trickier. So many people put it <laughs> in the water. So what we're going to do is a little tip today on how you can combat uh, tricky holes and tricky distance control, certainly on par threes, and then we're going to do a challenge which is going to feature on Peach Channel, so go and check that out, where we're going to actually use the tenth hole here at the Brabazon, because that's our kind of closest relative here in the UK, where it's quite a narrow green. We've pulled ourselves out for 155 yards out, and we're going to talk about how to, how to actually best um, hit that shot. Yeah, absolutely. Just control the, control the distance and trust the distance, because with this, especially this year, I think this is probably, I'm not going to say tougher, but I think far off being a tougher shot, really, in many respects. So you've got to be able to trust the distance they're actually hitting it. So the first piece of advice, the first piece of advice, without any doubt, about distance control is actually start to know your distances. <laughs> so, so learn how far you hit every single golf club in the bag. And I'm not talking maximum distance. I'm talking knowing how far you hit it on a nice golf shot, a good golf shot not the best you've ever hit a golf shot because that's unrealistic and not particularly the worst go and see a professional go and see someone who's got launch ones technology the flight scope or gc2 or Trapman, and you can know how far you hit each of your clubs and measure it actually note it down i'll give a lot of my clients um distance charts where it, there's a there's a grid and it says right you hit your uh, driver this far you three wheel this far measure every club and know exactly how far you hit it and sometimes they'll do a, a, a kind of a shortest outcome and the longest outcome. So this is if you hit it not fantastic, you'll hit it this far. If you hit it fantastic, you'll hit it this far, so somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we're here now on the, on the, on the uh, made up par three, and it's 155 yards. What club do you hit 155 yards? That's the thing, Rick. What club do I hit 155 yards? Well, I don't know. Because <laughs> I, I mean, I've been going through kind of training this winter and the fact is I've come out on the other side this season and my distances are a little bit all over so you, to be honest. So you so, almost need to do your own distance yeah, chart. Precisely. And I, I, same with me and I would regularly update your distance chart because things change uh, not only the weather conditions things that you've got to factor into play your swing might may have changed Sometimes you swing it faster than other times. And, yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're wearing less clothing, if not that we're wearing matching, if you're wearing less clothing, <laughs> if you're uh, in warmer climates, we found when we've been away this year, we, I, I seem to hit the ball loads further when Miles we're away. Miles further. Because Miles just the further. air is warmer, you've got less restrictive clothes on. Uh, so it all depends on the facts as well. So 155 yards, what are you going to go with? I'm going to go with an A time. I think I'm going to go with shot. an A time, yeah. I think I could force a nine, but if I'm just hitting a nice smooth shot, it's going to be getting about 155, 160. Okay. I'd imagine on there. Now, obviously, at the moment, we can't completely and utterly take Pete and plonk him on the 12th seat at the Masters, not yet. Um, <laughs> we've got to bear in fact there's a massive crowd behind us. There is the pressure, like Pete said, on the back nine of the Masters. How do we absolutely execute that shot under pressure? And um, my top tip would be to go through your pre-shot routine. Mm -hmm. So to create a pre-shot routine that you can pull down on every single shot, it needs to help you with confidence. It needs to build you with uh, the drive and the confidence. That you're going to hit that golf shot incredible, incredible. Also, try and make sure that you're doing it in a very closed setting. So you, you're trying to block out all the outside agencies. Mm -hmm. So go through your pre-shot routine for me here, Pete. Um, with pre-shot routine, I routine routine i always kind of feel that 
it's just the simpler the better. The simpler the better. Yeah. So very simply, ball to target, target line back to ball, picking out something just in front of the ball, just about there. Moving in with the club face, getting that set first. Then getting my body set appropriate to the club that I'm using. One last look at the target and then pull the trigger. Shall I have a go? Pull the trigger. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So we're trying to hit 155 yards. It's just down onto the green. Well, that's a great golf shot. I'll take that. <laughs> we're exactly get 155 me. yards of total distance. Get me, get me, get me to Augusta. Right now? <laughs> well, that is that done. And that was honestly, that was the shot that Pete's just hit. That is the shot that Pete's just hit. Notice how, uh, what I liked about pre-shot routine, it didn't take long, like you said, no, it's very no, simple. No, no, no. Pre-shot routines can often involve far too many practice swings and can often start to play tricks on your mind. You can start to question your own beliefs sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Make your pre-shot routine very quick, very easy to do, very repetitive, building confidence, blocking out outside agencies and trusting your distances. I think that's the best tips that we can give to overcome tricky shots under pressure. Absolutely. Good? Yeah, can't add anything to that. Well, challenge time, and after that shot, I'm not happy about challenging that much, I'll be honest with you. Well, mind you, yesterday, I wasn't too happy about challenging you. Oh, that's true. Well, yesterday <laughs> slash 10 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> yesterday in YouTube land, yeah. 10 minutes ago it was. Uh, so guys, we're going to jump over to Pete's channel now and do the challenge. We're going to stay on this hole uh, closest to the pin, hitting 155 yards into a very tight pin position. Stay tuned, go and subscribe to this channel, go and subscribe to Mr. Finch's channel. Uh, comment down below, do you have a pre-shot routine already? And if you do, tell us what it is, what it's involved, and I'd love to share some ideas down in the comments below. We shall see you next time, doing some challenges on Pete's channel.